Basically, it's six motion in the night, it's a nighttime spotlight. If you move anywhere within the range, the spotlight is going to find you. Turn the light on and send a lamp system to the, to the to a, to a LED. Basically, you could watch from these, you can see our progression. This is our, our um, major unit on top of it, the progression from, from start to beginning. This is, this is our end product of our whole thing and this is the the, um, the major unit inside the unit these here are our sensors our sensor array and the sensor formation we use these to determine the coverage area of the sensor so we turn this and it goes up moves up and either greater greaters or lessens the, the coverage area of the sensor itself as you can see, the sensor is moving from back to forth. It's doing that because it sees two people at the same time. Since over here, there's motion all over, two of the sensors are going to move. And whenever it sees two things, it goes to a part. Now it settles down as the motion is finished. Once the motion sees you, it turns towards the motion. The x-axis, the three sensors on the x-axis are responsible for the whole range of the x-axis. The two sensors on the bottom are responsible for the y-axis. So whenever you're close, whenever these sensors sense you, it will turn towards you and it will dip. If we had a coverage area of maybe 18 feet, you would see the whole x-axis and it would be almost horizontal with the, with the, with the system. Right now, it picked up Javan and me moving at the same time, so it's going to come back and forth. We made a video to show you exactly how it would perform in, a, yeah. in an ideal situation. Right here, we only have Perry as the, the object in the field. Let the video, when the video returns, okay, I'm going to start the video. It finds me. I'm going to set it off so that it sees two people at the same time. So that's why I go and put my hands there to see the pre-plan. It obviously can't find two people at the same time. So it goes through a pre plan. It will look back and forth for maybe three or four times. So keep doing that until the pre plan is over. So when the pre plan is over, you'll see it will find me. So right now it's going through the pre planned movement. See, it found me. It found the dog. But the dog moved. Then it's going to follow me. You know, for the 500 millisecond delay, it's going to follow me again. It stays. Now, if I stay completely still, it's going to turn off. <laughs> so if you watch closely, it's going to turn off. Three, two, one, zero. Turn off. But if you move again, it's going to start back again. So that's basically how we went about testing it. And we did hours and hours and days and days of testing. Things that gave us problem was the, the sun. The sun actually affected the top sensor because of the heat of the sun. These are PR sensors. So that was giving us false readings. Another thing that gave us false readings was my friend's pool. The reflection of the sun in the pool to the sensors gave a false reading and made us think our sensors were spiking and all, all sorts of things. But in reality, we end up putting this over here to block any heat because the halogen light also causes heat and gives you false reading. So that's why we block the top, the cone, the top like that. And it, right now, the heat would not affect it. So that's basically it. 
Do you have anything else to add? Not really, except that there's a proprietary information right here as far as how we were able to distinguish between genuine readings and false readings. Um, we can't go too much into detail with that. We just have to sit with our uh, demonstration here and uh, our video on the computer. Other than that, I think we're pretty much done. Well, good job. I, uh, I've seen this before. They say curious. We have a website, yeah, for it's a alarm system monitoring system. Yeah, we have a house that's monitored by this website. We are going to log in right now to the website. Oh, so, uh, that's, that's, that's the status of the alarm and the view of the camera. So basically, we're going to start with the alarm status. The alarm status right now is the motion of door on, window, flood, and smoke detector on. If I were to arm this right now and open the window, it should buzz off. And I should see an alarm trigger there. If, for some reason, I were to break it off, turn off the window, and arm it again, I shouldn't see the same thing again. It shouldn't go off. It then go off. We're the same right now. The door is on. But if the door goes off, so we're going to see an alarm trigger right here. There's a small delay of about three seconds because there's a lot of stuff being done in the background of this website. So we turn it off right now and we get the door, we turn off the door right now and he opens the door when I arm it and then nothing goes off. Now let's say I go back and I view the cameras. The plus well, let's say we blew camera one. Camera one is positioned in the back here, right there. Right there. So then it's looking at you right now. <laughs> so if we go to camera two right now, camera two seems to be on a wall right now. I think it's the one back there somewhere. Yeah, it has different days when you can. So then, oh, let's see. We have a user panel where we can activate the alarm. So I'm gonna I'm gonna trigger the flood sensor right now. I don't know how many pictures I can take before they do that. When trigger again, alarm, I'm going to take it off. Take it off right now with a password. And then, let's say I turn off most of the sensors. I'm going to turn on the door sensor, which is off right now, so you can see. I'm going to turn it on from the website. And then the number four window, I'm going to turn it on too. And I have the smoke, I'm not using that. Five, I'm going to turn off this, the flood sensor. So I'm going to turn this off, and then motion, I'm going to leave it off because that is, uh, it bothers too much. So then it's everything. So I go here, I turn on the alarm again, and then if I open the door, it should go off again. So I'm going to turn it off. And that's our show. <laughs>